Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, a Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you the new linking option that we've added in converting HSM HSS to five axes simultaneous. Let's take a quick look at the operation that I've already created in HSM using the linear option. If I were to open up the operation, I'll be using linear machining with a 6 millimeter ball end mill. The area that I will be working on are these areas over here, these surfaces. And in my passes, I'll be working at 90 degrees. And my link over here, I've created a simple ordering, staying on the surface within 20 millimeters. If I were to run my simulation, you'll see that the tool pass goes back and forth, skips over this area, and we're finished. Now I'd like to take this operation and convert it into a five axis simultaneous operation. So we'll start our simultaneous five axis operation and the source operation as we've created before. Let's quickly do save and calculate and in our simulation you'll see that we're getting the exact same tool pass that we've had before. Now let's go back and make a change in our source operation. We're going to change our conversion link type from use source links to relink. We will be creating our new links by ourselves. So now if I go into link, we have this area open and I can use a lead in and the lead out. Now if I do save and calculate and simulate the part, you can see that we have all of these links and gaps that we have to deal with. So now I'll go back into my links area and as for my gaps I'll use the option of follow surfaces and for my links between the slices I'll use blend spline. In addition we'll go into our tool axis control and we'll change our fixed tilt angle to 20 degrees. Let's run our save and calculate and then we'll simulate the part. And I'll use my solid verify to show you the simulation. As you can see now, the tool is going back and forth, tilting itself on the surface as shown over here. Now let's stop this for a moment and go back also to our host CAD mode. As you can see now, the tool is also not jumping up anymore as it was before. You can see at the edges between the passes we have our blend spline and over here it's working on the option of follow surfaces. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.